Tom Weller is one of the key figures in the incredible success of SpaceX and the brain behind the Falcon 1, the rocket that saved SpaceX from bankruptcy. But that's just a small part of the role he played in SpaceX's success. But who exactly is Tom Weller? How did he become a key member of SpaceX? And what key roles did he play? Well, we'll find out in just a second. But before that, please subscribe to The Future File to watch more fascinating videos on futuristic tech. Tom Weller descends from a German working-class immigrant family who settled in Idaho. He was born as the son of a logger and was on the path of taking after his father. However, as a child, he would take up the hobby of assembling and flying small model rockets. Continuing to experiment with rockets, he eventually built a rocket out of his father's oxyacetylene welder and discovered that adding water added more thrust. His fascination with rocket science grew through high school with his focus on physics and in order to be able to afford tuition at university, he became a logger and worked as one. He successfully enrolled in the University of Idaho, the first member of his family to do so, and in 1985 earned a bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering. 1992 would see him gain a master's degree at the Loyola Marymount University, and in the university magazine he stated that a fateful conversation with a teacher led him on the path of studying mechanical engineering. Apparently, Mueller's high school maths teacher asked him if he was going to be an engineer. Confused, he said no, which caused the teacher to be astounded. He asked, do you want to be the guy who fixes the plane or the guy who designs it? This simple question caused him to reorganise himself into studying diligently for an eventual career in engineering. Mueller adds, quote, I probably would have been a mechanic or a logger. Thanks to him, I got the right courses to go to college. To begin his work career, he moved to California upon graduating and turned down job offers in Idaho and Oregon. His first job in California saw him working in satellite design and liquid rocket engine designs for the then emerging private aerospace companies such as TRW Incorporated. He worked there for 15 years involving himself in aerospace, automotive, credit reporting and electronics. Eventually he left his job at TRW Incorporated because he was feeling underappreciated. He felt as if his talents were being lost into obscurity within the vast corporate environment. He began working on personal projects involving rocketry with a friend of his. His fateful meeting with Elon Musk would occur in 2001 through another mutual friend in California. Elon Musk was becoming a multi-millionaire around the same time as he along with his co-founders sold PayPal to eBay for $1.5 billion. This was the perfect time for the meeting as Musk was getting ready to own a controlling stake in Tesla and launch SpaceX, his next venture. Upon meeting Elon Musk, Mueller was asked one question. Can you build something bigger in relation to the makeshift rockets he had been building on his own in his garage? The answer of yes led to Mueller becoming one of the key founding members of SpaceX in 2002. Elon Musk had a proper business plan, the ambition and the capital necessary to let Mueller's imaginations run wild. A very good match was the result then, and Mueller immediately got to work on SpaceX's first attempts to get a rocket into space. Working at SpaceX would also present Mueller some of the most daunting engineering tasks he ever had to undertake in his life. He was responsible for the development of the Merlin rocket engine from scratch, and at that time, booster-class rocket engines were such an intense engineering challenge that the general consensus was that only governments could successfully develop and test them. Everything Mueller learned in his bachelor's and master's would be allied in his work. Things such as thermodynamics, chemistry, dynamics, fluid dynamics, metallurgy, electrical systems, heat transfer and mechanical design. His knowledge in all of this world would be tested in order to develop a machine with one of the highest energy densities of any developed by man. A booster rocket engine releases billions upon billions of watts of thermal energy in a small expertly engineered combustion chamber. The stakes were high. Projects such as the Falcon 1 Kestrel engine in SpaceX's early lifespan got going because of prudent business decisions by Elon Musk, lobbying by Gwynne Shotwell and the engineering expertise of Tom Weller. It was an endeavour that absolutely could not afford to fail if SpaceX was going to be taken seriously as a private aerospace company. SpaceX employees and industry experts have correctly noted that the main reason for such a quick successful finishing of the project was the amount of freedom and room for creativity granted to the engineers involved in the development, namely freedom for Tom Weller. He further explained his experience developing the Falcon 1 and its many subsequent iterations. A thousand things can happen when you ignite a rocket engine, and only one of them is good. Early on we found a lot of the not so good things and were constantly battling the bane of rocket engine development, the RUD or Rapid Unscheduled Disassembly. With thousands of tests and many design iterations, we have the current version of the Merlin rocket engine, the Merlin 1D. 
It produces £170,000 of thrust, is low cost, is very reliable and has the highest thrust to weight of any booster engine previously developed. It also greatly helps that despite being the undisputed boss of both Tesla and SpaceX, Elon Musk does not manage his companies from a position of authoritarianism, unlike most other corporations. This was an approach that he undertook from the very beginning of both his ventures, SpaceX and Tesla. Being friends with your key personnel and the executive board goes the extra length in encouraging loyalty, healthy work output and a long-term job satisfaction. These benefits in turn result in successful projects, continued profits and success. Most crucially, this was put to test during the financial crisis of 2007 to 2008, when both SpaceX and Tesla were at great risk of going bankrupt. The challenge was overcome with the help of Musk's close collaboration and friendships with the likes of Mueller and Shotwell. As one of the founding members of SpaceX, Mueller made another contribution that keeps SpaceX afloat and successful even after his departure from the company. This contribution is perhaps what sets the company apart from all other aerospace companies. What is it, you may ask? Well, Tom Weller proved to be the absolute right person who could translate Elon Musk's relentless pace and ambition into a fast working pace. That's right, Tom Weller was the only person who could cultivate that kind of fast-paced working attitude in SpaceX's rank-and-file engineers and science personnel while also keeping them mentally healthy and sufficiently energetic. Elon Musk's ambitious nature met its collaborative match with Tom Weller's and they were able to work in lockstep on a mental level. Further ingredients include Weller's abilities in leadership and empathy. This keeps the people working under him happy to continue doing so and many former and current employees have commented at length about Weller's exemplary leadership skills. Many have criticised Elon Musk's approach but Weller's implementation of the approach has led it to provide good results despite criticisms. The Falcon 9 rocket ushered in a new spaceflight era. SpaceX officially returned human spaceflight capabilities to the United States in 2020. NASA had not launched humans to space since the Space Shuttle was grounded in 2011. Falcon 9 propelled NASA astronauts aboard the Crew Dragon spacecraft to the International Space Station during SpaceX's first pair of crewed missions that took place in May and November of 2020. After these incredible accomplishments and working for nearly 20 years at SpaceX, Mueller formally announced his retirement on November the 30th. I retired from SpaceX today. Thank you, Elon Musk. It was quite a ride. Mueller wrote via Twitter. Thanks for everything you did to help build SpaceX. Some of the best memories ever, Musk wrote in response. SpaceX is now working to make it possible for humans to live on Mars. Musk has said he hopes to get an unmanned cargo rocket with gear to the Red Planet by 2024. In November, Musk said it will be 7-10 to 10 years before the first group of humans go to colonise Mars. Building propulsion technology to go to Mars is a far cry from chopping down trees in Idaho. Reflecting on his career, Mueller says his success is due to a combination of his ability and luck. Undoubtedly, Mueller's contributions to international aerospace and SpaceX in particular will ensure its continued innovation, development and success. So, what do you think? Do you think SpaceX still needs his active involvement? Or do you think he has done his job successfully enough? Well, if you like this video, you may also enjoy this next video on Elon and Gwyn Shotwell, the pair who made SpaceX, that is shown in the end screen. See you there.